Hi guys, I wanted to make matrix display for a long time and put it near the workplace to display critical information on it from home assistant. I choose between Afterix and Pixelit projects. The choice fell on to Pixelit due to ease of use. It supports sound notifications, it can display information from home assistant and other data collected with help of Node-RED. If for some reason you want to use project Afterix, you can install it without problem. They are backward compatible. On Thingiverse you can find a lot of compatible cases with different designs. It's the easiest project I ever done. Well, let's get started. The grid is printed in two pieces and glue it together with super glue. Then LED matrix is glued to the grid along the perimeter. Capacitor is soldered directly on the matrix. They want mini with 10 kilo ohm resistor and light dependent resistor for auto brightness control is glued with hot glue. I made places for mini player and speaker, but I will not use them because I want to make centralized voice notification system. Mounting points need to be printed and glued separately. You need to drill a couple of holes for the power connector and for fixing the faceplate. The face plastic is made from materials at hand. I used self-adhesive vinyl for headlight dimming, thin plastic from documents case and baking paper as a diffuser for light and all that glue it to the grid using double sided thin tape. I am very pleased with the result. The thickness turned out to be 1mm. Now download EZSP flasher and firmware, past firmware into the folder, connect the 1 mini to the computer and open flash ESP exe file. Select the COM port and clean flash and then press flash button. This cleaning process can take up to 10 minutes. After cleaning, select firmware day one mini and press flash button. After it's done, use the phone to find Pixelit Wi-Fi network and connect to it. Then enter the credentials of your Wi-Fi network and click save. Open the web page at the address indicated on the screen. Here you can find links to the official wiki page and forum. Click on option and set up auto brightness level. And fill in credentials for MQTT server. In Home Assistant Community Store we need to install Node-RED Companion. After installing, open Node-RED. In the upper right corner go to menu, then manage palette and install. Here we need to search and install Pixelit and Home Assistant WebSocket. After that, we go back to the menu, then import and import file. Flows.json. Link to my GitHub page into the description. After import you will have such a configuration. In the core node we need to change IP address and the MQTT topic of Pixelit. This group is responsible for YouTube statistic. You need to change channel ID and API key or delete it if you don't have a plan to use it. Display playlist node is like a slideshow function. This group creates entity in Home Assistant for YouTube statistics. This group shows notification from Home Assistant triggered by stats of entity or by event. You can create such as an event in automation as this. Thanks for watching.